What up, E-Family? How are we doing? How is everybody? How, how are you guys doing? Um, we're out here at uh, Walnut Creek. We were here recently, and a guy said... Is that motorized? Oh, no. I said no, and I drove off. I was nice to him. I said, oh, no, it's not motorized. I drove off and he said, yeah, that was it. And for some reason that video did great. That di video did really well. So we're back here. We're back here and um, it's just a fun place to ride, you know? Ooh, it's a little wet. Uh, also, winter's over. Whoa, this, this is new. Wow, that jump is new and this jump is taller. Uh, winter's over. We had a nice uh, three, not nice actually, we had a three week winter out here where the sun didn't come out for three weeks and uh, my bus made about enough electricity to make one cup of coffee and it was delicious. It was one delicious cup of coffee, I can guarantee that. But that's over, temperature's back to uh, regular I guess. It's not quite hot, it's just perfect today. What are we gonna do out here? It's a weekday, kids are all gone. Oh no, big pool of water. Oh, that's a jump, that's totally hittable. Damn, it sucks that it's all muddy. Look at, they have their own water out here. may not be the best day to hit this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna get muddy, but luckily I'm wearing my Chris Shaver merch, so it's okay. Um, what else, what else? Oh, I got an amazing offer from the We Code It guys. They do powder coating out in um out in houston they offered to paint my suron and they're gonna put my bach 4000 hey real quick what did arnold schwarzenegger say to jason statham when they were debating what they were gonna dress like at a composer themed party costume party I'll be Bach they're gonna put my Bach 8000 in for me and my new battery and they're gonna paint <clears throat> and they're gonna paint my uh, Suron for me just don't know what color I want yet but they use uh, prismatic prismatic paints look at that uh, there's a website. I'll, I'll link it in a, the pinned comment down below. Prismatic Powders, I think it's called. They use um, colors from them. So, guys, let me know what color you want to see this. I'm trying to think of a color that uh, hasn't been done yet. Everyone out in Houston has crazy custom colored Surons, and they're all painted by We Coat It. So, I don't know. I want something original. Something flashy. But not too flashy. Something that says, this bike is not normal. But also something that says, don't look at this bike. It's perfectly normal and allowed here. I don't know. Let me know your color choices down below. Let's hit some serious jumps here now. This, uh, I want to hit that, but just poopy landing. This one's actually really fun, though. Woo. Right into that tree over there. 
Ooh. Disappointing. Well, that sucks. No wonder there's no one here. Winter just ended. Look at how tiny this hill is and I can't get up it. Not with my feet or with my bike. Ugh. Something's up. I thought I fixed my rear. Shaky problem. By tightening my chain, but something's up. I've said this many times before, the Shinko 241 is a great tire. It's great for off-road and on-road. You can't even you can't even tell you have off-road tires on on street. But their biggest flaw is mud. Wow, that jump is straight up. <laughs> that jump is crazy. Should we hit that? I'm a little scared of that one. Fun, but I'm doing something wrong. All right, let's go shred these trails. Try not to get too muddy. I almost went to this place, uh, Milbourne BMX track. It's not too far north of here. I saw it in a Grammy Bear video. I I'm I'm came out here at the wrong time. I should have came out five months earlier because these Suron rides were out here in uh, Austin. I seen you, Scott. Ooh, I seen you in a Grammy Bear video, Scott. At the old Milbourne. Uh, BMX track looks fun there. Uh, but yeah. Hey Mark, Kush Pudding, what's with you being in every Suron stunt video? How often do you come out here, buddy? Literally every video of anybody doing a, a, a wheelie in the streets with a bunch of Surons, there's Mark. There's Mark doing a wheelie right there with him, even though he lives in LA comes out here to do wheelies every couple of months. That's Suron love. Look at these tracks. Look at these tracks from mountain bikes. And then look at the tracks from me. Invisible. Same impact as a mountain bike on the trails. And all those jumps we were hitting, even though they were muddy, didn't do shit to them. So no comments about that. Okay, okay. No comments about me riding dangerously, okay, because no one's out here. We're just out here having fun, okay? We're just out here making a vlog. This is a, this vlog is for me. This is a vlog for me, actually. Because I just wanted to come out here and have fun because the sun is finally up.
Whew, I'm not even pedaling it, I'm getting tired. Wrist hurts. Forearms frickin' hurt. Front shocks sucks. That's that's the next thing I need. I know when you upgrade your Suron, you need better brakes. Probably most importantly. But these front shocks are terrible. Wow, they're not even doing anything. Dude, my front shocks are not moving. No wonder they hurt so much. Dude, this is new. This is a new development. Why are my shocks not doing a single thing? See, this is why I need new shocks. And just because these are bullshit anyways. So what's the best front forks to get, guys? Is it the Fox or the Bombers? Or is there some other one I don't know? And how do I get one of those for free? I need a wrench or something. This literally does not want to move. We might have to take a little break, go back to the bus here quick. Also, I got almost 3,000 miles on this thing and I've done no, f basically no maintenance. I, I sprayed the chain every time someone leaves a comment, but that's it. Okay. I used the needle nose pliers to spin this to put my front shocks super soft and the rebounds up really high. Rear shock feels fine as always. And then I inflated my front tire to about 28. It says max is 32, so I don't know. We'll see how this feels. We're gonna shred a little bit more down these paths after we do the sickest wheelie we've ever done right here, right now. Definitely not the sickest, uh, but we're gonna ride this for a while and then we're going to hit up a self car wash, self spray car wash. Because I don't want to put this bike back after we've been shredding through the mud. My poor bus is already filthy enough. I got a girl coming to visit me in a couple days. Believe it or not. You don't believe it, but you don't have to. She's like, should I get an Airbnb or should we just chill on the bus? I'm like, what? You couldn't live like me for two hours. Get an Airbnb. So I'm going to be like a home. I'm going to be like in a house for two three days that's gonna be so sick but also cheating You see that? How are you gonna leave a hate comment when I ride like that? Around peds? Huh? Go ahead. No, seriously, um, it does help the channel. I don't want to be uh, perceived as a dickhead, but uh, when I make dickhead vlogs, people go crazy in the comments. And that's just, mwah for the channel oh yeah this feels much better who's laughing I literally heard somebody laughing how come everywhere I go somebody's laughing at me Is this normal? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Ah, oh, my arms hurt. These shocks are shitty. Ah. Oh.
Let me do a damage assessment because sometimes this. Sometimes we get a little. gets loose back there. Wow, tight fit. Dude, sometimes they don't move. Dude, sometimes they don't move. Oh, let's move that back up. Dude, something is going on. Dude, they're hard fronts. Why are they sometimes smooth and sometimes not? Oops. I'm going to start emailing people. See if I can't get a free front fork, because that is ridiculous. Here it is. Here's the little thing I stopped at. Should we just chill here and wait for a mountain biker to come talk to us? And then I'll just be like, I do, I do, I do. and then he goes, is that motorized? And I'll be like, I, uh, my English not so good. Uh, or I can be like, uh, this is a class 2 e-bike and then point to this little plaque here and then I'll be like, this is for people with disabilities. I lost both my legs in a farming accident. I have two prosthetic legs. I talked to the county before I came out here. I say whoa a lot for things that don't really require a will. Haha, -ha, you wish. You wish, viewer. You thought I was going down right there, didn't you? Don't really know where I'm going. I have no clue. Oh, I kind of want to go over there. But I just like to follow this crap. Just go. We've got tons of battery. That hurts bad. What is this? Ah, I don't think you're supposed to go that way. That was pretty ballsy though, huh? I didn't scope this shit out first. Literally nothing in the front. How long has that been like that? Because I feel like I ride this kind of shit often and my arms don't hurt this much. Man, this would be sick with the 360. Dude, look at this forest! This is Halloween, this is Halloween. At least this kind of stuff is fun to edit. Sometimes I'm just like, at the desk, at the library, trying not to look at the cute Indian girl, and like, whoa, 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 oh no! It's because I said that thing about the Indian girl. Sometimes I'm looking at, uh, you know, cute women of all ethnicities and uh, just distracted because I'm like listening to myself, uh, dude, talking of the way it was up, he heads. I'm just going slow on the sidewalk talking. I'm like, dude, fucking, I'm not even going to click the like button and it's my video. Hopefully that guy didn't hear me talking to himself because he had AirPods in. 
How's it going? Yeah, how you doing? Okay, I'm ready to get out of here and go to the car wash. What if that just solves it? Just a nice wash? Mud everywhere. Oh, I think they are moving a tiny bit. Oh yeah. Okay. Nothing to see here. Glad we made that out in one, made that out alive. Look at that, I spun out and I still didn't wreck the track. Let's get a close up. Let's get a close up here so people aren't like, dude, you're ruining it. Look at that. Like nothing even happened. I, a lot went through my mind during that crash. I was like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I'll just get rid of it. Yes, we're back to civilization. Wow. Whew. Look at that. We had a couple interactions. Nobody was mad. No close calls except for except for when we just ate shit. Literally just now. Guys, have you seen the new Rivian Amazon Prime vans? They're sick. I can't wait till they start going into auctions. Probably not for a while, but Make a civilian version rip off Elon Musk, whoever owns Rivian. Uh, what do you guys think about Elon Musk, man? People are just finding reasons to hate that guy nowadays. Jesus. I'm all in. Tesla, I mean, Elon Musk, has actually made me a good deal of money. Even though Tesla's stock is down right now. Fucking... During the pandemic, it was just printing money. So, I don't know. I don't... I think the guy is uh, a good money printer. But uh, let me know what you think about the old uh, elongated muskrat down in the comments below. And be nice, guys. Come on. Acting like you don't like Teslas and shit. I could get down with an electric van life van. Get an adapter, charge it with 110 at the library. Guys, I had the most depressing Thanksgiving of all time. There's no sun for three weeks, like I said. So, no hot food except for when I go to Taco Bell or McDonald's, where they just have given up completely on mixing uh, the McFlurry. They used to be like, put the spoon on the machine and act like they were doing something. Now they literally just fill up the ice cream, put the crap on top. Oh, can I get double Oreo? Yeah, sure. Just double on top. Oh, you know. Oh, this is great. A bunch of crumbly stuff on the top and then just a bunch of boring ass ice cream. Thank you. Uh, nah, man. Thanksgiving. I ran over something and I thought I heard a puncture. Uh, Thanksgiving I went to the library and then they were like we're closing in a couple minutes we will be closed tomorrow and the next day will be open Saturday so Christmas Day Black Friday I chilled in the library parking lot 
in an area that said book pickup only or something, but nobody cared because nobody was there. And they literally had plugins. They had outdoor plugins. And I plugged, I took an extension cord, plugged it in, tried to hide it even though it was orange. And I played video games for two straight days. And then I even had my heater on for a while. That's something I haven't been able to use in a while. But it actually, it wasn't actually that depressing. I, li I like uh, the new Modern Warfare and the old, uh, the old Grand Theft Auto that I've been playing for nine years. <laughs> Oh no, train. Frickin' train? That wasn't a shortcut at all. Sick. Okay, should we take the battery out? Take the phone off, obviously. What was that? Oh, my thing. I blew my certification thing off that says it's a class two. We blew off the little thing that says electric bicycle. I think I have another one of these. Kadeem got me one. Yeah, good thing we took the battery out. Even though I think it soaked as well. Look at that. Drives great. Drives great. It just sucks that we blew our uh, certification tag off the bike. Now, now it's just some dirt bike. It's like uh, it's like driving a. Uh, it's like having a gun with the serial numbers filed off. I sprayed every part of the Suron. Even the battery. And then I just, I blew on the connectors like it was a Super Nintendo con cartridge. And it's fine. People literally make videos where they're like, tell you how to wash a Suron. My advice is just wash it. Thank you guys for watching. That is gonna be the vlog. If you enjoyed my little adventure, go ahead and treat me with a little bit of that click of the mouse on the old like button. Feel free to subscribe if this is your second or third trip to my channel and you enjoy what you uh, are seeing. Hit that subscribe button to help me out. Ring that notification bell to get notified every time I post a new vlog. Leave a comment. I don't care. I've, I've, I'd, I say that I hate these comments, these these uh, douchebag comments. Go ahead, leave a douche comment. I don't care. Engagement. Just engage with the channel. I don't care if it's good or bad. I might read it. I might get triggered. I might leave you a little hate comment back. Who knows? But thanks for supporting the channel. Get after it. Chase your dreams. Good enough isn't. Peace. Peace.